tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a new virtual machine. What we're going to do here, we're going to name the the name of the virtual machine. Uh, it's going to be Windows 11. We're going to leave the folder as the default. And then we're going to uh, look for our ISO file. In my case, I have my ISO file under the uh, desktop. So we're gonna skip the unattended installation. So this will, this will automatically create everything for us. We're gonna do next, 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 finish. And as you guys see, we have our virtual machine here. I have another video that I'm gonna leave on the description on how to install VirtualBox. So we're gonna hit the star and this is gonna start our virtual machine. So we'll, we'll wait a little bit and it will start our virtual. So once we have our Operating system ready to install. We, we're gonna hit next. Um, we're gonna hit next. We're gonna do the option install Windows 11, the default, and then we're gonna select the I agree, everything will be deleted. We're gonna select that option. Um, you guys are gonna see this pop up right here, but what you guys are gonna do is gonna see I don't have a product key. Um, so it will it will um it will let you go to the next screen. Unless you guys have a product key, then you guys can enter the product key. But if you guys don't have the portal key, select that option. I don't have a portal key. And then it's gonna take a couple of seconds and, and we'll be ready. So here we're gonna select the Windows 11 home version. Um, the ISO has different, different um, versions. We're gonna select the Windows 11 home. We're gonna do next. Um, we're gonna accept the license terms, next. It's gonna do his thing where it's gonna be um running on the background. So let it do let it do his thing, let it do the searching for this. So here what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave everything as default. We're gonna we're not gonna create a partition or anything. We're just gonna leave everything how it is. Next. Select the option next. Um it's gonna take a couple of time. And then keep in Windows 11 home and keep nothing. So Install. So this is gonna start the installation process of our Windows 11. It takes it takes around uh, 10, 10 minutes. So let it do let it do its thing. It might restart your computer. So so you guys are gonna see this screen um after after the, the other blue screen. So you guys are gonna see this screen. Um, it's normal. It's gonna restart your computer probably a couple of times. So wait probably around five to ten minutes and then it will finish. So we'll keep working on this. So once our installation finishes, we're gonna see this screen right here. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna select yes. Um, we're gonna select our country. We're gonna select yes. Um, this is gonna do, it's gonna be loading. It takes like five seconds. So I'm just gonna do the keyboard, US. Um, let's skip this. You don't have to do another layout. So let's skip this. It's gonna be running, running, running. Ah. Taking some time, so we're gonna wait. So, oops, lost connection. So let's let's retry this. So, in my case, I don't have internet connection. So you guys are gonna see this this problem. So if you guys have internet connection, you guys might see a different problem. But in my case, I don't have I don't have internet connection. So what what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do Shift F10. In, and it's gonna open the the command prompt. So I'm gonna do one more time. Shift on your keyboard F10, and then here what we're gonna do, we're gonna type the command O O B E backslash bypass by pass N R O enter. This is gonna restart our um, OS, our installation. So it's gonna restart. I'm gonna hit yes. It after we did the OVE um, bypass NRO, it, it it takes us back to the screen. So we're gonna hit yes. Same thing, escape. Um, the same thing where it's loading. So it's gonna do the internet, looking for internet. So now I have I have more options. So see you guys have I have more options right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the option I don't have internet. So this is gonna allow me to uh, bypass all of this stuff where like I said where you have to to put your uh, your like um, either network connection or stuff or like your 
Microsoft account, so just allow you to bypass all of that. So in my, I'm just gonna do admin and then set up a password. I'm gonna set up a password for my administrator account. Next, confirm the password. Next, uh, do all your security questions. Do all your security questions. So you guys are gonna do your three security questions and then we're gonna hit next. So after you guys finish finish that, it's gonna take you um here. So in my case, I'm gonna turn this all of this stuff off. I don't need none of this stuff on. So I'm gonna turn this all of all of this off. So I'm gonna turn this all of this off and then hit accept. Accept. Um, it's gonna load again. And then just a moment. So it's setting up your profile. It's doing his thing. Hi, we're getting Windows ready. You're gonna see that thing getting things ready for you. So as you guys can see, we're almost done with the process of installing Windows 11. Um, guarantee it, it works, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what I can do better. What you guys, like if you guys run into a different issue, let me know. I'll be able to, I'll be able to ha help and happy to help, guys. As you guys can see, now we have uh, an operating system on our, on our, uh, computer so it's still loading so we're gonna wait a little bit so as you guys can see now we have a fully operational operating system um, as you guys see now we have a fully operational system it's it's ready it's um windows 11 is ready for you guys um if you guys made it to the this the end of the video don't forget to leave a like or like leave a comment or let me know if you guys run into different issues and then um We'll see you in the next video.